A-Theme stands for Advancing the European Multilingual Experience. This is a research project that aims to raise awareness of multilingualism among policymakers, health professionals, academics, and educators. It is a five-year collaborative research project studying multilingualism in Europe with partner institutions across eight European countries. Hello, my name is Michela and I'm Italian and I'm a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh. I came here about two years and a half ago uh, to study bilingualism together with the research project, the Athemi research project. And uh, specifically what I'm interested in is the relationship between language and attention. Um, the reason why bilingualism is a great lens is to take a look at language and attention is because some previous research has shown that the two languages of a bilingual person are always active at the same time. So for example, now I'm speaking in English, but um, Italian is not like sleeping somewhere. I have to actively select each sound, each sentence uh, that I use in English, but I also have to actively suppress the Italian one. So this arguably brings about some computational complexity, as I like to put it, some extra stuff going on in the bilingual mind. and. Some people have said that these may result in sort of a training effect on the broader ability to select uh, the information that is relevant for, me, for you and to suppress the one that is irrelevant. Another thing that I look at is how your bilingual experience, your linguistic experience, uh, shapes the way your ability to select and switch between languages. So, for example, I'm comparing Italian-English bilinguals with Italian-Sardinian bilinguals, who are of course have very different experiences because Italian and English are, as I said, standard languages. They are, you know, sort of cool languages, in particular English, while Sardinian is a minority language spoken in uh, Sardinia, in, uh, in the Mediterranean, and it, is, it has a long history of uh, being considered as something bad for you. For example, you may be bad at school if you speak Sardinian at home. So what I want to do is to evaluate whether people who speak these languages actually come out with a similar uh, linguistic and cogn cognitive me uh, mechanism to deal with the languages. And my experiment shows that they do. What really matters is how well you speak a language and how much you are exposed to this language, independently of what language it is. So I think this is a nice thing to bring out uh, from uh, academia to the general public, uh, maybe in the effort of uh, uh, you know, cure the stigma of uh, uh, of the fact that some languages are less important than others. This is not true. One other thing that I do is um, is more related to work package two in the Athemi project that has to do with minority languages. So it's something more linguistic, more specific onto languages, and in particular, I take a look at how some linguistic structures are used by bilingual speakers. So, for example, if there is one linguistic structure in both the two languages that you speak or only in one of the two languages that you speak, you may expect some sort of interference. And that's something that I'm interested in. So I'm basically comparing the same groups of speakers I mentioned before, so Italian English and Italian Sardinian, on some uh, linguistic structures that only exist in Italian and in Sardinian, but not in English. The reason I do this is because I want to understand how these linguistic structures work, which is my job as a linguist, but it's also interesting. it is also interesting to understand what happens in the case of bilinguals when languages get in contact. Because that's something that can help us understand in the direction of language change. And ultimately, it can help us basically preserving the richness of the linguistic heritage. And possibly, for example, by understanding how to teach languages or to understand how speakers use these languages in, case, in, in cases in which more languages are present. Uh, in the same communities.